What's up guys, it's Kale. So today I wanted to make a quick video about how I do my testosterone injections. Just to help out anyone who's starting to do self-injections of testosterone for intramuscular use. So I've been self-injecting since I started on testosterone uh, last August and I've always done it this way and I just thought it might be helpful that I make a video about how I do it in case anyone's struggling with doing self-injections or just starting to take testosterone and they have to do intramuscular injections. There's a few ways that you can do this, but this has just always been the way that I've done it, and this is the way that my endocrinologist showed me how to do it when I started. So I've been taking testosterone cypionate for intramuscular use only, and this is 2,000 milligrams or um, 10 milliliters, and I do 0.4 milliliters injection in my butt every week. So some of the things you're gonna need um, to have prepared have your vial ready with the uh, top off of it. So this is kind of what the cap looks like, and it'll just pop off when you get the vial. You're also gonna wanna have a needle. My endocrinologist usually orders me a three milliliter syringe, um, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. The needle is, is kind of long, but that's what helps with getting the testosterone out of the vial. You're also gonna wanna have at least one band-aid ready, so after you do the injection, you can just cover up that area with a band-aid in case it's bleeding. You also want to have some form of rubbing alcohol or something that can clean the area before you do the injection, something that will be able to clean the top of the vial. So I usually use hydrogen peroxide, and I just use a cotton ball to put the hydrogen peroxide on and then just rub the area. And one last thing I forgot to mention, always make sure to wash your hands and I don't have a sharps container, which is something that you can use to put your used um, needles into. So I just use either like a glass container or a bag or something that I can just keep away from my other needles, just for sanitary reasons. So now I'll show you what I do when I do the injections. Okay, so first I make sure that the syringe is out of the packaging and I place that aside. And then I also take my Band-Aid out and have that ready. Next, I take my hydrogen peroxide and I put the hydrogen peroxide on my cotton ball. And then I wipe the top of my vial with the cotton ball. Next, I take the cap of my syringe and then I push the needle through the top of the vial just so that I can start getting the testosterone out. And then I flip the vial over so that the testosterone comes out a little bit more easily and I start pulling on the plunger. And then you should get the testosterone coming out. And what I do is I always get more testosterone than I actually need so that I can always push it back into the vial to get the correct amount. And that little black bump, the top of that black bump is where you're going to stop when you have the amount that you need. So I stop at the four before the half mark. And then to measure where I'm going to put my needle, I take my thumb on my hip and then between the ring finger and my pinky, that's where I'm going to inject. So I take the cotton ball and I wipe that area before injecting myself at a 90 degree angle. And I make sure that the needle goes all the way in so that the testosterone is going into the muscle. And then I push and I make sure that all the testosterone is gone before I pull the needle out. And then I take my band-aid and then I cover that area just in case there's any bleeding. And then I usually rub that area just to make sure that the testosterone distributes evenly under the skin. And that's what I do every week. So yeah guys, that's how I do my weekly injection. Um, I usually keep all of my testosterone needles and syringes in one place. Uh, I have this little, little bag that I keep everything in. And then I separate my used syringes and put them in a paper bag that, that way that they don't cross contaminate. So yeah, if this video was at all helpful, give this a, a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and click subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns or just comment about how you do your weekly injections, 
um, just leave them down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later.